Okay, so it's been a day or two now since my review for Marvel Spider-Man 2 had dropped, since all the reviews for Marvel Spider-Man 2 had dropped, and thankfully, I'm not the only one who thinks this game is a freaking masterpiece. It's sitting right now at a 90 score on Metacritic. When you get the chance to review these games, sometimes you have that feeling of, well, I'm loving it. I kind of hope everyone else is loving it as much as I am, and rest assured, that feeling was pretty mutual. And with just two days to go, until this game is in all of your hands, until everybody gets to play this freaking incredible game, well, there's still some news that we gotta go over. So let's jump right in. If you're hyped for Marvel Spider-Man 2, if you cannot wait to play it, scroll down, hit the thumbs up button. All right, first things first. Now we know with the game coming up that there's gonna be some really important updates and patches that you gotta make sure that you have downloaded onto your console. And well, Insomniac were the ones to quickly put out a statement to make sure everybody was informed about what's going on in regards to that. So they said here, hey everyone, on October 20th, you'll finally experience Marvel Spider-Man 2 and we couldn't be more excited. Since going gold, our team made notable enhancements to Marvel's hashtag Spider-Man 2 PS5 that we'd love for you to experience from the very beginning. The disc contains the entire game and it's playable from start to finish with no patch or online requirement. But for the best possible experience, we highly encourage physical slash disc-based players to download update version 1.0 0.001.002 on launch day prior to experiencing the opening mission of the game for the first time. Digital players, don't worry. If you preload the digital version of the game, you'll get that update as your preloaded version. This update features polish to the gold master version of Marvel Spider-Man 2 available on disc, which improves the opening section of the game and includes other general refinements to your Spidey experience, including some additional accessibility options. We appreciate your support and can't wait for you to experience our latest adventure for yourselves. Thanks, Insomniac Games. So that's right, a good little note there for the folks out there who are getting a physical copy of Marvel Spider-Man 2. Make sure before you boot up the game, once you put it in there and you downloaded it, that you also download the day one patch. From what Insomniac is saying here, it's gonna enhance your overall experience, but it's also gonna help out with that opening mission of the game. And you know, to reiterate, if you have the game on digital, you should pretty much at this point already have downloaded the day one patch. But hey, that's not all Insomniac could tweet it out. They also put out an official look at one of the trophies that we're going to be able to get in this game and this also featured some brand new free roam gameplay of miles morales in spider-man 2. you see in the game there's one of the trophies called home run which you have to run through all the bases at maimonides park which is right next to coney island and yes you can see this clip right here of them showcasing how exactly to unlock this trophy but i mean miles you missed two of the bases you freaking idiot I i'm not even 100 sure this guy hit home plate i mean this is not a home run if you ask me in all seriousness though i mean this game looks so good graphically i mean the sunset there it's just beautiful man now that i can finally talk about how much i love it i can mention that i spent a lot of time in photo mode speaking of which Thankfully, I was able to confirm this for the internet the other day, and I was very happy to do so. You see, there is a suit that I know has been pretty much the most highly requested suit for this entire game. Pretty much as high, maybe higher than how many people were requesting the Raimi suit for Spider-Man PS4. Even higher than the request for the Into the Spider-Verse suit for Miles from Spider-Man Miles Morales. And yes, I am talking about the one the only amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. And as I mentioned, I was able to confirm for you guys, the suit is in the game. And I am personally very happy with how it turned out in this game. It is so damn good looking, and I had a lot of fun messing around with this in photo mode. Insomniac always listens to the community. They've always got their ear to the ground. Feedback from the community is something that they very much like to take in, so long as it's not incredibly toxic. And while with this this suit being one of the most highly requested suits, you shouldn't have had any doubt that they were going to include it. But I'm really glad to see how excited people are that it is in the game, and I'm very hyped for you all to get your hands on the game later this week and then go in and play with this. And a fellow reviewer who writes for comicbook.com was also able to confirm another extremely highly requested suit, which pretty much rounds out all the movie suits you could possibly have wanted in this game, and officially, officially confirms a feature that's going to be in Marvel Spider-Man 2 being suit damage you see Cade onder who is once again a writer for comicbook.com showed one of his screenshots that he took in photo mode of the final swing suit 
from Spider-Man No Way Home. Yes, it's also in Spider-Man 2. And it looks glorious, and with suit damage, it looks so cool. Suit damage in general is a really awesome feature that they've put into Marvel Spider-Man 2, and I'm looking forward to, once again, people getting to try out this game to see how all that works and to see these suits. But up next, you know, in my review, I wasn't all sunshine and rainbows about Marvel Spider-Man 2. I love a lot. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty much a masterpiece in my opinion, but there are a couple of things that I think are problems that I do think need to be fixed. And thankfully, a lot of the issues that I had with the game, I think can be fixed through quality of life updates. One of those being the fact that you cannot replay missions after you've beaten the game. And this was something that you could do in Spider-Man Miles Morales. Granted, I don't think this was something that you can do in Spider-Man PS4, but it was updated and added into the following game. So it's weird that it was left out day one for Spider-Man 2. I think in general, if you're gonna have a missions tab that lets me scroll through all the missions that I've completed, it would be really nice, Insomniac, if I could just go select one that I like and replay it. Thankfully, this looks to be something that is on the way alongside another feature that I know a ton of people have been asking me about that I wasn't sure if I was able to confirm. Somebody asked James Stevenson over on Twitter saying, James, will New Game Plus and Mission Replay be in the game by launch? And James replied saying, no, we're working on an update for those features, but they won't be in day one. So yes, there you have it. New Game Plus nor Mission Replay are going to be in the game on day one, but they are updates that are being worked on, and I imagine we're going to see them sooner rather than later. That's great to hear. I am bummed out that New Game Plus is not there from the get-go because I'm really looking forward to jumping back in on New Game Plus, having all these suits and seeing them in the cutscenes. It's going to be really exciting. I'm looking forward to when they're going to drop this. And there's just a couple of missions that I really, really loved playing through in this game that I would love the opportunity to jump back in and play through again and again and again without having to create new saves. There is still one thing, though, that I'm hoping we get as part of an update in the future that they did not give confirmation on just yet at Insomniac. And this was one of the other big complaints that I had, something that I do think is quality of life and could be fixed in the future. That being the option where after you beat the game, you can change the time of day or the weather. While you're playing through the story of Marvel Spider-Man 2, you're going to be able to see the certain different times of day. And man, the game looks so good, whether it's through sunset or in the rain. Oh man, I wish that I can change the game to look like that always as I free roam around. And plus, this was a feature that was in not just the last game, but in Spider-Man PS4. After you beat the game, you go to the research stations and can change it to either day, sunset, or night. Then Spider-Man Miles Morales introduced the concept of not only being able to change the time of day, but also being able to change the level of snow. So please, Insomniac, I know we're working on New Game Plus. Very excited for that. I know we're working on Mission Replay. I'm very glad that's coming to the game, but I hope, I hope, that the option to change the time of day and the weather is also coming soon. We're a couple days away from the game being out. I still got a ton, and I mean a ton of Marvel Spider-Man 2 content coming your way. So you guys better be subscribed to the channel. You better have those notifications on because we are not done yet. We are just getting started. But with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about that glimpse that we got at the home run trophy for Marvel Spider-Man 2? And then also, are you glad that they're working on new game plus and a mission replay function to be added into the game in the future? Lastly, what do you think about the amazing Spider-Man 2 suit? I want to hear everything you guys have to say in the comment section below. I've been Caboose and I'll see you guys later.